Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am super excited because we're gonna be reviewing the brand Living Proof. Finally, I've been asked this from you guys so much and so I'm really, really excited to be bringing you guys this video. Most of their products are sulfate silicone free, so a lot of them are Curly Girl Method approved. Hallelujah. And one of them I've been using for a very long time, but the rest were all new products to me. So it's exciting. I'm really excited to show you guys my thoughts on all of these. Let's go ahead and jump in the shower and test these bad boys out. All right, babes, jumping on in. My hair has been in a bun for, you know, a ridiculously long amount of time. <laughs> um, right here, I'm just shaking it out and I'm just showing you that it is a tangled rat's nest currently. It, 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 was, it wasn't great, guys, it wasn't great. But we're just going to wet it and start fresh. And by the way, that brown stuff running down my neck is this like shimmery bronze mousse. Don't be alarmed if you see my tan going away throughout this video. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump on in with Living Proof's Conditioning Wash. And this line smells great. I personally just love it. It's very fresh, not overwhelming of a scent, just kind of like a nice feminine scent. And this bad boy, as you can see, does not lather up at all, which was very interesting. Um, it's a pretty gentle cleanse, I'd say. It's definitely cleaning my hair, I feel, but um, it's very, very gentle. So I went ahead and used my scalp massager brush, which I use all the time. You can use code India50 for 50% off. I've gotten so many of you guys hooked on this thing. It's great. Okay, uh, right here I'm going to jump in using the detangling rinse. You can see this is a clear product. It's very slimy. It just kind of like ran down my hand very quickly. It's like a... I want to say like a silky, velvety water feeling. Oh my gosh, I mean, it just made my hair feel like, like, I don't know, just crazy jelly or something. I used a little bit more on the ends to like really be able to tangle the bottom of my hair as well, but this stuff was just interesting. Like, I don't even know what to compare it to because I just feel like there's nothing else on the market like it. But I wish went ahead and detangled with my fingers and towards the bottom it got pretty tangly so I went ahead and split my hair into two sections and then I started to detangle with a comb, a wide tooth comb. And this is a wide tooth comb that Ovation actually sent me um, in their kit and I love it, it's really great. Jumping on in with the leave-in conditioner. Um, I used a bajillion pumps of this. I do like pump products, I think they're nice. I didn't feel like this was a crazy thick conditioner and it did, it, guys, this thing kept fogging up on me, y'all. It kept fogging right up on me. Okay, so went ahead, used our conditioner. Uh, like I said, I didn't find it to be overwhelmingly thick or thin, it just kind of seemed like a normal consistency of a conditioner. Um, but it didn't feel overly hydrating. It didn't really create an intense amount of slip on my hair. So I was happy that I had already detangled my hair with the detangling rinse. Next, I jumped in with the Defining Styling Cream. And I used way too much of this, I feel like. I mean, I would never use that much of Diva Curls Wave Maker. I don't know what I was thinking or what I was on. But honestly, I mean, if I would have used less, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. You'll just have to see how it turned out. But, um... This product may or may not have been my least favorite product of the group. So, um, but so I just went ahead, right ahead and just started scrunching and squishing my hair uh, to promote some waves and curls. All right, guys, so these are the final results. I went ahead and let my hair air dry for around two, two and a half hours or so. And I'm not overly impressed, but I'm not unimpressed. I think some of these products are fantastic. And then a couple of them just didn't work for me. So I feel like in the future, I'm going to kind of mix some of these products with other brands that I know work best for me. Um, but I am excited to implement some of these into my hair routine and ditch a couple of these products as well. So let me jump in and kind of tell you which products work best for me and which did not. So of course, first I use the curl conditioning wash. I really do like this concept. I love co-washing. So this is a very hydrating shampoo. Um... It's a co-wash, right? I have a whole video dedicated just to co-washing and the whole concept of it because it is a little bit confusing. Um, but essentially, you just shampoo your hair with conditioner. I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. 
Um, this is a sulfate free one and it is non lathering to say the least. Like this basically felt like you were putting conditioner in your hair, but I really did like that. Um, I think this is a genuine like co-wash. This does not suds up at all. It doesn't trick you into thinking it's shampoo. This is a no joke conditioner conditioner wash, conditioning wash, and um, I liked it a lot. I thought it was very nice. It smelled, this whole line just smells beautiful to be honest. I don't really know what it smells like. I can't quite put my finger on it. It just smells very fresh and feminine and clean and kind of simple. I don't know. You'd have to go to the store and smell it. It's definitely not an overwhelming scent. I get messages from a lot of you guys saying you're super, super sensitive to perfumes and scents. This line is definitely scented, but it's not like some crazy strong flowery tropical scent. I don't know. It's just kind of like a fresh, clean, perfumey scent maybe. I feel like the more I smell it, maybe I'll figure it out, but I'm not figuring it out. <laughs> but I did really like this. I was impressed with this co-wash and I will definitely be using this again. Next we have the Detangling Rinse. This is probably my favorite product out of all of them. I think this product is just phenomenal. It's a front runner for me. It's just very different. There's not a lot of um, other products on the market that I've seen that even compare to this. And I just think it's great. So basically I put this in my hair after shampooing and before conditioning to give my hair just this crazy amount of slip. This product is like almost like a slimy, a slimy consistency and it just gives your hair this great amount of slip. I apply a little bit of conditioner and then detangle my hair. Girl, I mean like it is detangling's detangling can be a nightmare for a lot of people. It's not terrible for me, but it's not great. This just changes the game. It's a game changer. I don't know what other product on the market is comparable to this. There's a lot of detangling creams, detangling sprays, detangling blah blah blah, but this is a detangling rinse and it's this jelly slot not jelly, but just like this slimy watery texture. I don't know, but it's out of this world, highly recommend. Definitely check this bad boy out. Mm, it is good, it is good. Next we have the leave-in conditioner. And for me personally, I don't love leave-in conditioners, so it's hard for me to even review this product fairly and properly really. But this is probably my least favorite product of the group just because I don't like leave-in conditioners. I find them to make my hair very weighed down. Um, they're just really not for me. I might use a little bit of leave-in conditioner on dry hair just to smooth out some flyaways, but I just find them to be very, I don't know, they just weigh down your hair. I don't like it for me personally and for my hair type personally. Um, but yeah, so I just used this as a regular conditioner and rinsed it and it just definitely didn't give me enough hydration to my hair. I feel like my hair looks very dry from about here down, especially in real life. It just looks not great and I think this is the culprit. So I don't know and this is such a small amount. How much is this? Eight fluid ounces of conditioner? Come on. Come on. I could finish that in like three showers. <laughs> Okay, next we have the styling cream. This is the defining styling cream. I feel like I'm gonna give this product another shot when I use my regular Diva Curl Conditioner that I absolutely love and it gives me the proper amount of hydration. So I don't really know if I could test this product fairly today, but today it didn't work for me. Uh, my hair just looks very fluffy and it did not define my hair really at all. To me, it kind of, Looks like what my hair would look like if I just let it air dry naturally on its own. I don't think it really added any definition. It says it controls and defines and adds extra conditioning. I didn't really experience that, but once again, because I hated the conditioner, I feel like I would like to try this product again um, with my other products that I know love, that I love and I know work for me. So I'm definitely gonna try this again and give it another fair shot. But today I just wasn't impressed and I'm disappointed because I was excited to try another sulfate silicone um, Curly Girl Method approved styling cream. I love creams. Oh no, I don't like the gels, the mousses, all that. I love the creams, so I was super pumped. I love the packaging, but I don't like this product. I'm sorry, I just don't. Last but not least, I didn't actually show me using this because this is first day hair and it's a little bit dry, so I don't really need dry shampoo to get rid of any oil. <laughs> but I freaking love this stuff. Now this product I have been using for a while, even before they sent me these other products. I have been using this for a long time. I think it's a great dry shampoo. It's one of the 
only dry shampoos I find, I have found on the market that is sulfate and silicone free. And Curly Girl Method Approved, it's amazing. A lot of the dry shampoos, um, they put a lot of build up into your hair and they're just not great for you, but this one leaves you with such a nice clean feeling and I highly recommend this dry shampoo. Rave about it all the time. I love it. I love it. So to conclude, I'd say that I found this line to be really more geared towards wavy or barely curly girls. I think if you're a 3B or above, this line will not be nearly hydrating enough for you. Whereas if you're a wavy girl, like 2A, 2B, 2C, I think you could definitely play around with some of the products in this line, but I would skip the conditioner. Um, but as you can see, some of the products I absolutely love and are fantastic front runners for me and two of these products I wasn't impressed with but overall I think it's a good line I love that it's Curly Girl Method approved and um, I'm excited to continue testing out more of their products love the packaging love that it's at Sephora it's easy to find and get it um, so yeah I I'll be interested in testing these products out for a little bit longer and kind of like playing around with them but for me to finalize, the dry shampoo and the detangling rinse are hands down the front runners. Second runner up, we have the conditioning wash. And then these products, once again, were flops for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.